Hey everyone, Scott from Horticide, back with another video for you. I know it's been a while, I, I just been too busy opening shit up to make videos. But I did post a picture of this box the other day, and everybody seemed to be pretty interested in what was in it, so I'm going to try and run through this as quick as I can for you. Um, this was a short box off of eBay. It had 103 gold and silver age books in it. So let's run through these as quick as we can. Um, they are all, almost all, Dell 4 color. So I'm not going to bore you with issue numbers. I'm just going to try and run through them. Now, for the most part, they're all in really nice shape. Um, there's a lot of VFs. I think there might be a couple of near mints in there. Of course, we've got our fair sprinkled in. Um, and a lot of VGs and Fs. So, uh, really overall, really good lot. I just found out there's two variations of this book uh, based on the inside cover. Uh, one has a photo cover inside and the other has an ad on the inside. So fortunately this was a second issue I've gotten of this and I now have both variants. Really nice copy of that book. Another really nice copy. And a lot of these are pretty nice and will be even better after a press. Uh, the newest book from this lot is going to be uh, 1960. Well, there's nothing can be any newer than 63, I think. So, but I think 61 is actually the newest book in the lot. I uh, love this cover. It's the old, the old school painted cover. And that's an early uh, 255. That's got to be uh, from the late 40s probably. Let me take a second and look that one up. That one is uh, 255 is November of 49. So yeah, that qualifies as late 40s, I guess. Good old Tom Corbett Space Cadet. Lots of Zane Gray. Johnny Mac Brown. A good looking book. Rudy Kazuti. That sounds fun. More little scouts. Uh, 
Uh, this is interesting. It's written as the first origin of Donald Duck. This is your life. And this is another interesting book. I've since learned that this exact book was reprinted by Dell, not under the four color moniker, but under a later one shot. It also was reprinted by Gold Key. Same book, same cover, three different printings, three different years. Skiing covers were pretty prevalent back in the day. I mean, I, I'm i starting to notice, the more I pay attention to them, there's lots of skiing covers on these, these type books. Um, uh, just kind of odd. And that one was one that I had a duplicate of. Big Circus. Lots of movie books. Another one I have a duplicate of. The, the gentleman that had these books had quite a few listed, and I just, it was easier for me to make him an offer on everything he had listed than to go through and pick and choose which ones I wanted. Um, I figured I'd be able to get rid of the duplicates easy enough. And then I'd be able to pick out which one copy I actually wanted to keep. Some nice old Disney ones in this lot. And another of our friend Buck Jones. It's a little rougher shape. Um, a lot of these are just going to, I shouldn't say a lot, some of them are just going to be placeholders until I get a better copy. And some of them will be the one and only copy I ever, ever get. Bozo. I'm going to have to double check, but this may be the first appearance of Bozo in a uh, comic book. Uh, 286, that would have been real early 1950s, before 51 most likely. Um, left-handed gun. Oh, there we go, right there. Explosive story of Billy the Kid. I think that's a high dollar book. I don't remember. You can never have enough Maverick in your life. A 
good old Frosty. I know if, if you remember the uh, Mel Gibson Maverick, um, they actually they call him Bart several times in the movie. I think Jody Foster is who calls calls him Bart. Good old Grandma Duck and her farm friends. Hopefully I find some good music to play in the background so you guys aren't too bored. Alright, so we're getting there. Getting to the end. Swamp Fox, Dixie and Dixie and Mr. Jenks, and good old Rocky and his friends. So, all of these books, plus one more. Um, and the one more is... What kind of a, uh... Actually, I think that was, that's one of them, too. I missed that one. So I think that should be the 102. Then the 103rd book is... G.I. Combat. Number 68. First, uh, first prototype of Sergeant Rock. First Sergeant Rock prototype. Uh, after this, it went to our Army at War 81, 82, uh, which were the, when he first became Sergeant, actually was actually named Sergeant Rock. In this issue, he is just simply The Rock. Uh, not to be confused with Dwayne Johnson. And our Army at War 83 was kind of the first official, full-blown Sergeant Rock, as, as everybody knows him today. So, this was a pretty big book. Um, so, so, grand total for the 103 books, I was just under $800 shipped. And... I had $200 in this book alone. So, about $6 a book, more or less, on the all those Dell four colors. I mean, that's pretty, uh, pretty cheap, as far as I'm concerned. Pretty cheap. So, alright, that wasn't too bad. I got through all of those in 15 minutes. That's about how long my uh, introduction is, so... We'll be under half hour total when this video is done. Um, I've, I've got more in, but maybe I'll take time and run through them uh, at another other time because I've got another shipment of 80 that came in uh, late last week or two weeks ago now, maybe, and I didn't didn't do any recording on. But 
uh, lots of people had expressed interest in this short box that got shipped to me, so I wanted to show that off to everybody. So, that's going to do it for this one. Um, until next time, I'm Scott from Hoarderside, and I want to know what's in your hide.